Hey Nibbles, it is me, GG16, and I am here with a new LP called The Orphanage Challenge. So, I was looking up some challenges to do because I wanted to start up a new LP and I did not want to do an expansion pack LP. So, um, what it is, I'm going to go ahead and read you the rules. Well, let me just say who I am first. If you're new to my channel, I am GamerGirl16. Um, I made this channel when I was 16. Um, I don't remember what. I don't remember how many months ago or I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I made this channel not so long ago. I am 17 now and I'm in love with The Sims. And um, if you're wondering, I am about to order The Sims 4. So I will be having The Sims 4 up on my channel. But, um, yeah, so, I'm a big Sims fan. I love The Sims. I've been playing The Sims since I was, like, a baby. I didn't play Sims 1, but I have experienced uh, Sims 2, all the ones that they have for the PlayStation. And, um, so, yeah, a little bit about me. Um, I'm a junior, about to be a senior. And, yeah, so, I'm just going to go over the rules. So, first you have to have a young adult married couple. They have to have friendly family traits, and they can be any traits. You can have, like, family-orientated, nurturing, and then, like, any other traits that you need, whatever. The father can work, but he cannot work in the criminal career because that would be just dumb. Running an orphanage and your criminal, criminal, like, no. <laughs> And the mother may not work. She has to run the orphanage and take care of the kids. The father has to take care of the kids too, but he needs to work for the money. Um, so they they may have their own children, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, each child must have their own like beds, and they cannot share beds and all that stuff. And... I put this rule here that I'm going to start off with 20,000 simoleons. So that's what I did. I started off with 20,000 simoleons and I built a little house. It says that we need an upstairs and a downstairs, but my house is not upstairs and downstairs yet. So you start off with the empty lot and then you build your orphanage. As you get money, you um, expand your or orphanage and you adopt randomly and the goal is to have a full house but you do not have to start off with a full house so what i'm going to do is we are going to start off with just two orphans and work our way up um to eight sims in the household and then um once they reach the young adulthood um they have to go off to college which we just kick them out within five days and they cannot go to a boarding school um, so the basic <laughs> the thing is to run your own orphanage I know you see my sims but <laughs> run your own orphanage and I just thought this would be like a cool little challenge and once they grow up we have to randomize their traits and um, once the founders die we can have an orphan run the orphanage or we can make a new sim to run the orphanage so yeah that's all the rules that i'm going to read if you want to know more about it i will leave the rules down below but let's just get into the sims so as we all know the first part start off very slow so um this is andrea palmer right here you can't see her face because she's like looking down girl wipe the dirt off your shoulders <laughs> Girl, you don't, you just don't know that was an old dance. Anyways, this is Andrea. Um, her hair looks kind of funny, but I love this hair. So it's so cute. But I don't like how it is at the top, like right here. It just looks funny. But she's really cute, and she's just like a plain basic sim. I try to suggest her like professional, but I'm not good at that. So just put her in a cute little tank top. It came in one of the expansion packs, and then her skinny jeans are hot. Um, they are highlighted, but they're uh, custom content, and then some little heels. I think they're base game, but I don't know. Okay, and um, 
So let me read you her traits. She is family orientated, a natural cook, neat, nurturing, and friendly. She is like the perfect sim for to run the orphanage. Um, so yeah. Um, basically that's it. Oh, she her favorites are pop cookies and pink and all her all her life she has wanted to run an orphanage because she hates 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 how kids just get like tossed <laughs> like their parents do not care about them she loves kids to death and this has been her dream so um that's what she wanted to do and um she met rick palmer in college and they just hit it off and he loved the idea of running an orphanage he was so like um he agreed with it and so they're gonna run it together he's also um family orientated so that's good he's brave a workaholic flirty and family orientated and ambitious his favorite colors his favorites are red Porcicini, risotto, and classical music. He's a very, um, he looks like rich from my current household video. But anyways, he's a very like professional type of sim. He wants to be a CEO of a mega corporation. He wants to join the business career. And uh, Andrea wants to be surrounded by family. So I hope that will work with, with um, uh, orphans or whatever. So yeah, um, let's just get started into the gameplay. Um, she is a Sagittarius. I just thought I would read this to you. And she's a he's she is a Gemini, and he's a Sagittarius. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the house. Um, so I built this little house. It's nothing special at all. This is a little living room area here nothing special once we get more money i definitely promise you we will have a way better looking house than this but we do have to stay on this lot so i will be having to build um and yeah that's like that's the kitchen this is their bedroom and uh yeah i'm going to lock the doors because it's just kind of weird for the kids to go in the house I mean the parents room is kind of weird um this is a little uh room right here for the kids um we're gonna adopt a child a baby girl child and a little baby boy um baby baby <laughs> and yeah that's the little thing and this is the bathroom and yeah so this is the house we're going to start off with so I just think we are going to go ahead and get started into this LP is my timer on okay yeah it is <laughs> let me turn this down all right um oh we live in Meadow Glen let me give you a little overlook of Meadow Glen um yeah I will leave the link down below to download this world all right so let me put that back up um, we are going to have Rick over here go ahead and join his business career right here. Go ahead and join that. And then we are going to go to Andrea. Um, let me just call. All right, I just had to check if I was recording or not. So, oh, we need her to go ahead and um, call for services. And we are just going to adopt our babies because this is what we want to do and we are just going to get started i'm going to sell their cameras because i don't think we need i will keep one just in case we want to like take pictures of all of our orphans i think that'll be cute um so we are going to do adoption service you like to adopt that's wonderful we'll send a social worker out to visit you right away okay good so we're gonna have andrea go ahead and cook a nice little breakfast ew i hate that <laughs> um or brunch of some waffles for our new little baby um so yeah that's what we're gonna do while he's going to get his little job and let's just speed it up 
because we want this social worker to come. So he's going to be a coffee career. Career. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> he's he's going to make 27 simoleons per hour. And he's going to work from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. He's going to work Monday to Wednesday to Thursday Friday. And, yeah. So, he got his little job. And he will be making a lot of money. Because my current household him makes tons of money so our orphanage will be so cute all right um so rick just got a new job rick needs to be at the huber associates and kim gold steakhouse at 8 a.m on monday rick's boss is ahmed woodall and yeah so he needs a relationship with his boss so when he gets home i'm gonna have him go ahead and call his boss and he wants to have a child with andrea <laughs> kind of sad you can like he wants to work at home travel to the future no sorry and she wants to travel to the future no I'm so sorry all right um so since he wants to work at home I'm just gonna have him go ahead and work <laughs> work from home because you get money like whenever you want extra money um in your sims uh a workaholic you can have them work from home I don't know if you can do it if they're not a workaholic. No, I don't think so. So, yeah. She just made some good old waffles for the new little babies to come. And she wants to meet a supernatural? No. And she wants to have a child. This is so sad, but you're going to have a child, but it's not going to be your flesh and blood. It's going to be your your adopt baby, adoptive kids. So, I thought this was a cool LP because in none of my LPs we are adopting so I thought we should adopt and experience like all different types of uh, sims like they're gonna be so different and I just cannot wait because I can just imagine like having a crazy a crazy um, evil and sim and then like a sweet sim and a diva and uh, I cannot wait it's just gonna be crazy okay he wants to have his fortune told we will do that but I think that costs money so we will wait on that um so she's just gonna watch some kids channel until her baby comes we're gonna change it to actually romantic rendezvous and I'm gonna need the social worker to come we got the newspaper which I don't like that's that ish I don't like. And we got the travel thingy majigger. We're going to sell that for some simoleons. And I guess I can go ahead and put their, um, their diplomas up. Come on now. Um, yeah. Their room is like basic right now. But then again, we have no money. So the house will definitely get way better than this hopefully do you like my building skills or not <laughs> it's kind of cute kind of cute not that cute but you know it'll work so we're gonna get a child we're gonna get our little girl first and we are going to name her Sarah I've already came up with the name so if you want to come up with some names then you can leave them down below I already came up with the first two names you can leave Six more names. So, C. Sarah earned an A. We don't know what she looks like. Oh, and what I am going to do. Um, wait, let me just read this. Andrea Palmer just adopted a sweet girl full of sugar and spice. She'll always remember the day. Um, there was a feminine addition in, addition to the family. All right, so. Oh, look at little Sarah. She's cute. Okay. So, um, what I am going to do is whenever I adopt an orphan, I will not, I promise you guys, I will not change their features at all. The only thing that I will change is their skin. I'm going to give them the um, blueberry pie skin and I will be changing their eyebrows, their hair, their like, clothes and that stuff. But I will not like change their nose and their lips and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, do Sarah up. Let me see if I will mess up 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give little Sarah a makeover and I will be right All back. right guys, so I am done with little Sarah right here. So this is her. I gave her the blueberry pie skin as I said, I didn't change anything else but her hair and her eyebrows and just change her clothes and stuff. So this is her everyday outfit and she is so cute. I love this bun on top of her head. She is beautiful and she is, yeah, <laughs> she is really cute. So she went from this EA Sim to Blueberry Pie Sim, Sim. Um, skin. That's what I meant. Okay, so she wants to talk to Rick and she wants to become best friends with Andrea. So, Andrea, let's go hug little Sarah. I want to call her Aria. I don't know why I keep on saying that. Maybe that'll be the next girl's name. Aria. She wants to become friends with somebody and let's go ahead and, because I want to get a picture of this hug. Oh. Yes. <laughs> All right. Stop being crazy. I want this cute picture. All right. That is so freaking cute. They are cute, and I love this. <laughs> I'm going to love this LP. I already can tell. All right. So, she wants to become friends with Sarah. So, let's go ahead and get to know Sarah. Actually, let me tell you about her. She is Meat Party Animal Lucky. Her favorites are Hot Pink, Tri-Tip tri Steak, and Hip Hop. Um, okay. So... He is strained from working so hard, but you can quit and uh, go ahead and watch some TV. But let's go ahead and get to know little Sarah. So we're going to um, ask her about her day, about her life, and get to know her and discuss our favorite TV shows. Hopefully she has had a TV. Talk about movies and gossip you can gossip with her and um play rock paper scissors with her that'll be cute see sarah get honor roll and she wa he wants to flirt so we are going to go ahead and get our next baby um we're going to have him go ahead and adopt our next our next little baby because we are on the road I told you we're gonna get two and we are going to start off with two kids um so adoption service wonderful all right so go and watch or actually you can like play some computer games if you want to um play a sports game and he wants to sing karaoke maybe one day it doesn't say anything about having a babysitter so sometimes Andrea and Rick are going to go out and have a little fun because they deserve it they do not have to stick and stay in this house forever so yeah um, so in my rules we are going to be able to be allowed to um, uh, <laughs> what am I saying <laughs> leave the house okay um so I kind of want to get like some outdoor little cute things for um for Sarah to like play with um exit out lord okay so let's go to outdoor and like outdoor activities and see what we have so football soccer ball baseball um that'd be cute for her and him to like throw the ball um, a little golf thingy. I wonder can the kids play. I don't know. See, that's what I don't know. We can get one of these little bust. Our backyard is looking hideous right now, but you know, it'll work out. Uh, we can also get a little hopscotch thingy. So I think that's enough for right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, they have no way to get outside, but. You can go around the house. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wait for our little boy to come, or the social worker to come, and they are just getting to know each other. Hold up! Oh, I thought this was her. Okay, she wants to get a play table and ride the spring rider. We do need a play table. 
You are right, girl. You are right. Um, we can get a little play table, but I don't know where to put it in this small house. Okay, stop. Smack dead in the living. <laughs> Smack dead. <laughs> Smack dead in the middle of the house. Or no. <clears throat> we can try. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, you guys have to see this vine. <laughs> I just have to tell you. Okay, so it's like <laughs> these two little kids and this one one of the kids are he's just laughing and the other little boy he's like he puts his hand on his face on the other little kid's face and he's like, It's not funny and then he do, and then the other boy laughs again and he's like and then he does he puts his hand on his face again and he's like, It's not funny, okay? <laughs> And they are like like little one year old little babies, like two year olds or something. You have to see the vine, like it's crazy. Just search. It's not funny, okay? Vine. Ahmed Woodall got a new job. Cool. That's what y'all are gossiping about. I guess they're gonna play rock paper scissors. <laughs> Whoa. All right. All right, little Sarah. Okay, I didn't know they played like that. <laughs> I really never saw that. I really never saw them do that. That's crazy. All right, is your fun up? Your fun up? Okay. So we're gonna get a little baby boy, and we are going to name him Kevin. So yeah, our little baby boy is about to be here, I believe. Okay, so he's gonna get time off from work. Let's see, two days. I shouldn't have had him adopt, Lord. Um, so he wants to go pick up Kevin. Hold on, I'm getting a call. All right, Billy, right you going back? That was my mother. He wants to pick up Kevin, so let's go ahead, go pick him up. Rick, slick Rick. Little Kevin, are you in there? Yes, you are. Go get him. The freak. Is he going to be stuck in there? Okay, she's going to pick him up. Good. So, you can just get your mood up just a little bit and use the bathroom. And then, yeah. So, we're going to see what little Kevin is. Okay. So, let's read his traits. He loves the outdoors and he's excitable. And he loves hip hop, grilled salmon, and turquoise. A little baby likes hip hop music. It's crazy. Um, we are gonna have little Sarah come and play in her dollhouse. Play with her dollhouse. How many days do you age? Seven days. Uh, yeah. She wants to become friends with Rick and socialize. No. So, little baby seems to be good, so we're just going to go ahead and put him in the crib, and then we are going to come and serve some mac and cheese for the kids, and she wants to buy a tree house. We will one day, baby. One day. Um, what are you going to do? You can come and watch TV. Hurry up, Andrea. Girl. So yeah, I think that I'm just going to go ahead and end this part right here. We have our two little kiddos, Sarah and Kevin, and I'm loving them right now. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the first part of my new challenge of a new challenge. And uh, yeah, so I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and bye.